Hamas officials are creating a lot of fanfare over the releasing of a revised policy statement that supports the establishment of a transitional Palestinian state along the 1967 lines and most shockingly drops the terror organization's long-standing call for Israel's destruction. The document was presented in Doha by Hamas leader Khaled Mashal as rulers of the Palestinian faction in Gaza watched the announcement on TV. Even though the hardline Islamist group claims that it somewhat softened its stance on Israel, Mashal says that Hamas continues to reject Israel's very right to exist and is committed to an armed struggle against the Jewish nation. <laughs> We shall not wave an inch of the Palestinian home soil, no matter what the recent pressures are and no matter how long the occupation. Hamas rejects any idea except liberating the home soil entirely and completely, although it does not necessarily mean we recognize the Zionist entity or give up any of our Palestinian rights. Hamas considers the establishment of a Palestinian state sovereign and complete on the basis of the June 4, 1967, with Jerusalem as its capital and the provision for all the refugees to return to their homeland is an agreeable form that has won the consensus among the movement members. The statement also includes claims that Hamas will end its association with the Muslim Brotherhood. This move is apparently aimed at improving ties with Gulf Arab states and Egypt, which view the Brotherhood as a terrorist group. Publication of the policy document comes just ahead of Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas's visit to Washington tomorrow.